Hello, happy stampers. This is Kate with Kate's Paper Creations. Also Kate with Mountain Valley Designs, which um, is another whole different hobby of mine from card making. I thought I'd just share a little bit of that with you. I've been busy using my Glowforge laser cutter that my son gave me for Christmas. And so this is one item. Let's see if I can get it in here so you can see it. It's a little bit of a lantern. You can put a tea light, uh, battery tea light inside because this is made from wood. There's a little door to open where you can put the tea light inside to light things up. And it's just beautiful tropical leaf design. That's one thing I've been making. And we have a new baby coming to our church. And so I made this ornament with the mother child. And then on the back, this saying from Winnie the Pooh, I'm thinking, if I'm thinking correctly, said Pooh, a new baby is probably undoubtedly the grandest gift that could ever be and included with that will be this little sheep <laughs> it's just so cute this is what it looks like from the side and then the, from the front and it's got a little tail on the back and it's just a cute little gift that'll go with a card and some some money or something for the new baby I'm also making what I call um, Kamiko boxes Kamiko is a type of um, design geometrical design and um, this one is particular is made from acrylic what they call jade swirl acrylic and the top comes off and you have the inside of the box I also make them from wood and can engrave um, a beautiful design on the inside um, one person had me engrave um, some beautiful um, flourishes with um, happy birthday in the middle um, someone else had me do a heart another person had me do a butterfly in there and but it makes a beautiful gift and so I've been doing that and then I just got into, because it's spring, just got into making some um, plant steaks for people. And um, so plant steaks, all different types. And if you're interested at all in any of those things, just message me through Facebook and um, or through my YouTube channel and I can help you with those things. I'm making them to sell and I can ship as well. So. If you're interested in that or maybe some other things that can be done with a laser cutter, let me know. But for now, today we are going to be doing cards. And I had a friend who got her paper pumpkin kit. And I have not yet gotten mine for March. It's still out there in La La Land somewhere, unfortunately. But one of my customers got her kit. And so she had me come over and we made some kits to get made a, an alternative card together and this is the card she made with me and I was inspired by it to come home and make something from the supplies I had even though I don't have the kit yet so I can find everything I'm looking for here <laughs> this is the card that I was inspired to make then was this card right here to do that, I will be using Honey Bee Home, which is where I got the die cuts for the flowers and the bumblebee and the stems that are here. And I used flowering tulips for the um, sentiment, just thinking of you today. The papers I used are from um, get my name get my cheat sheet here because my brain goes blank <laughs> new horizons is this piece here and it is cut three and a quarter wide by four and a half tall this piece back here is from hand penned designer series paper it's four and a quarter wide by three and three quarters tall and then the base card is blackberry bliss and it's a five um, five and a quarter five and a half by four and a quarter card so it's an A2 card and then I did a piece of basic white on the inside of the card because of the dark cardstock and of course that piece is four by five and a quarter and I stamped it inside and colored it as well so let me show you how I did it I've got all my pieces here so here's the base card and we'll just burnish that and I have already stamped and die cut 
the pieces that I'll be using. And we'll talk about colors here in just a second. But let's put these base pieces on. This piece is going to go on flat with stamp and seal. And the four and a quarter goes across the card so it fits from side to side and then I just centered it top to bottom just eyeballing it it doesn't have to be perfect and then this piece of the New Horizons is also going to get attached flat is giving me a little grief today and just depending on which way you want it to go and I'm centering it from side to side and let's get it up here where you can see it a little bit better and top to bottom I'm just gonna go on there like that okay now I am going to do some coloring I'm gonna bring in just a little piece of scratch paper here and we're gonna color these stems pick anything up today my fingers are not cooperating and these are the colors I'm going to be using so for the um, this flower which I felt looked like hollyhocks I'm using Calypso coral blends pins no poppy parade sorry poppy parade light and dark I always start with light when I'm coloring with the blends pins and I am just going to color the whole flower and then we'll come back in a minute and do the dark the dark to add some accents and some shading and you just got to have a little bit of a light touch remember that these particular pins sometimes they do um, actually bleed out just a little bit in the edges so start in the middle work towards the edge take your time um, and you'll be able to see where your ink is going and if you have to go back and touch up an edge later on that's better than having it go outside the lines and looking smudged or whatever so just fair warning on that and one more flower it looks like it goes pretty quick you don't have to spend a lot of time fussing I am NOT um, a super artistic person so, you know, um, you won't find me spending hours and hours um, trying to make these all perfect, like the real thing. Um, then I'm going to come back and like I'm just using the dark and I'm just kind of doing a little bit of an accent. Hopefully you, yeah, hopefully you should be able to see that. Um, here I'm going to do this top piece because it's like the inside of the flower. And this one I'm just going to come out from the center with a little bit of a thing this one I'm just gonna add some lines this one from the center again just coming out a little bit and this one I'll do here and maybe a little bit down there and once you add just a little bit of shading it looks pretty good anyway then this particular color is the mossy meadow I needed a little bit of a darker green that's what I'm going to color these leaves with just like this Just like that then the bumblebee I am using dark daffodil do light and we'll just color his stripes and that's all he needs I stamped these with um, soft suede you don't have to always stamp with the permanent with the black memento tuxedo black um, any water-based ink if you're coloring with blends pens you can stamp with any water-based ink and it won't smear the ink water-based with alcohol markers alcohol-based with water-based markers that's how it works 
Okay, so then this one I colored with, get my name here, Dark and Light Razzleberry. And I want to start with the light. And I think I'm going to use the skinny end because these flowers are tiny. There we go. That's going to work much better. Um, I think you'll find that sometimes I don't like a lot of white edge around my die cuts and so I will trim them off. Um, so you might see that happening sometimes if you wonder why there's no white space around them. However, with this I did not um, trim it dramatically. I did take a little bit off, but not a lot. And we're almost there. Someday I think I'm going to do a video, if I can learn how to do set up my system so I can do voiceover. And, and I'm just going to try and, and let you watch what goes into actually making a card. Because, you know, you may see these videos and you see, oh, I've got all my pieces together and everything's wonderful. And it comes, you know, and I try to keep it as organized and, and that as I can. But the bottom line is when I'm making a card and designing, there my desk is covered with clutter. And it takes me sometimes an hour and a half to design a card. I'm just going to add just a little bit of color in the centers of these, kind of coming out. And there, that's good enough. So there's those pieces that I'm going to put together. And then I did for these stems, these are die cut. But what I don't like cutting from cardstock, solid colored cardstock. I take the white, basic white, and I use a blending brush. And for this, I used um, Evening Evergreen, although I kept it really light, as you can see. And I just color my white cardstock, and then I cut it out. And it just gives it more depth and color. I just really like doing my um, pieces that way. So now I'm going to get me a glue dot and I'm just going to start building my pieces, sticking them together. So here's the hollyhocks. I'm going to do them first. I'm going to stick this glue dot on the back of the stem and then I'm going to put this on there like that. Then I'll get another one and I just build with glue dots down here at the bottom. It's going to get covered up so it's not going to matter. And we'll put one on the front this time. And we'll put this flower on next. And I might take and like tuck it partially under and over. It just gives more dimension and depth. And the stem's kind of hiding there and, and peeking out in different places. And then um, we've got the other stem that's going to come up on the very front. And there's enough sticky there from that glue dot to hold that in place. And there is my stems. Now I am going to just stick that down basically flat. So I will just get my glue dots and put some glue dots on the back of the stems here. Don't need a lot. Doesn't have to be like major stuck down. Just enough to hold it in place. These glue dots are nice and sticky, so so that works well. I, mean, I think that's probably enough. So then we'll bring in the card, and I'm just going to put it oh, right about here, I think. And we'll stick that down. The bumblebee is going to go down with dimensionals, and I'm going to use a mini dimensional on the back side of him, just one right in the middle, like that. And we'll put him, so him, her, it, up here. And then for the sentiment, I just stamped it on a piece of basic white. And um, I'm going to cut it out with my scissors. And just kind of follow the contour of the, of the text. Kind of keep it rounded, not real rigid. And I'm just going to cut it out. Get there at that. Now there's lots of pretty dies that I could have used. 
I just chose to do it this way, just something different. Don't have to always be the same. And just like that. And this also is going to uh, go on with dimensionals. So I'm going to put it on with two regular dimensionals on the back of it, like that. I'll get rid of those. And that's going to cover up that little stem thing on the bottom there, just like this. And there is that part. Then for the inside, as I said, I used soft suede. So let's do that. And let's get that. Find my container here. There it is. I'll get out that stamp. The hollyhocks is what I used. And we'll get out the stamping block. This is block H works perfect of course and you could put anything inside of here you could just do a little bumblebee and have him flying up the side of the card or whatever and then I'll stamp it up the side like this I just like having a little something on the inside of the card okay and then I'm going to color it as well with the light and dark poppy parade get my It's kind of fun to just put a little something on the inside of the card. It just makes opening the card even more fun. This does fade through, so that's and but that's okay cuz this is going to get attached to the inside of the card. So it's not going to matter that it, the blends pins bleed through um, if you haven't melt and picking up today I tell you you can see how it bleeds through so you do have to be careful of that depending on where you're using your blends pins typically if you're going to use them you have to layer them on the front of a card you can't just do the front of the card or else you've got to cover the inside because it'll show through and you could do that create an inside design there's the light color, and we'll come back with the dark and do that a little bit, just like we did on the front. And a little bit more mossy meadow to do those leaves with. I do like my blends pins. They color beautifully. They don't leave streaks and lines. Although I do still favor sometimes the um, blender pins and just the regular ink pads. Okay, we're going to put this on the inside with just plain old stamp and seal. on the inside of the card and it's cut to leave that eighth inch border all the way around and down it goes and there's today's card so I hope you enjoyed today's video I'm glad you stopped by be sure and share my blog um, link with your my YouTube link with your friends um, and thank you to those who subscribed I got six new subscribers in the last two weeks I thank you for joining me and I hope that you continue to enjoy what I have to offer. I'm always open for suggestions. Leave me comments and tell me what you think. Thanks again.